So we have our database. Now we are going to do a couple of things with the database. So we are going to inspect the status of the database and the catalog and what this default index contains. Then we are going to review some of the content. So let's start with themes. First, if we right click on the document file table and we go to explore, we don't have any any record yet added. So obviously if we see what is indexed by running this script, we have empty no, nothing is being indexed because we don't have any record. So the only thing I want to mention also before sample playing, if you go to the full text catalog and right click on the catalog and you go to properties on tables and views then we have here what we are in the index uh, so in the document and table we have the file stream which is the content of the document and also we have this for semantics we have the name and also for semantics and the document metadata that we made we have the abstract and the authors the authors is the JSON column that we added okay let's add to add a record what we have to do is just explore this and then we will drag and drop a document here let's see if um, Let's uh, find some tables here where I am. Let's go to RFC document management. I have some sample documents and I'm going to use, uh, say, engineering projects. I will just copy and paste into our that's it so we have a record let's see what happened with our index so here we have for this uh, document we have about 60 entries on the index and we have some words here like augmented Arduino data devices etc. The document ID is an integer and we are going to see that this map from the hierarchy ID that we, have, we were using on the table. The index use a document ID uh, integer but it's uh, we'll see the mapping. The keyword is a unique identifier and then it will just see how many times it's in the document. So now we have that. Let's see what happened to our um, metadata table. And here we have the entry that we just did with all the metadata null. But this is coming from the function that we made. And this is our path locator, which is the unique identifier. So let's do a couple more things. Let's erase this table. And let's bring from the sample document, let's bring this set of folders and then we have in this um, set of documents we have uh, for instance or where's my oh I copied the wrong one sorry let's copy the right one the, doc the right one is on the document management and sample table and uh, the 
the same thing. Copy. And paste. Only that, but only that. So now, all right. Here I have a simple fold, set of folders with documents in Word, email, Excel, etc. So now let's see what happened to our metadata document. Now we have 52 rows. Some of them are the documents, but some of them are just the folder. Like in this case, is the folders in the folder email. And it, it tells you here somewhere. Well, I don't know this not but in our document file table. It tells us that if it is a directory or not. So um, let's see. File stream is null. This is a directory. This is the Excel directory. And here is classified as a directory. So um, this is basically what we are doing with our database. Let's see what happened to the index now. Let's close these couple of things and see what this index. Now we have around 20,000 records here. And for each document, we have the document ID, the word. Let's go to the, there's a lot of numbers here. Let's go to the words. Here we have some computers and where in what document. So in this document, computers is mentioned 36 times. So in this other is mentioned uh, four times. And notice that it's the same, the same keyword. Uh, so and it's listed by each of the documents. So this is how the index is indexing the background. Let's start doing some. Let's see what is what we are going to do is uh, take this away and see your. So we have a table. I mean, a document into the file, and we erase that and we added a full set of um, folders with documents inside. So now what we are going to do some uh, queries. We are going to query free text and query contain. Free text is when you give any word. Um, okay, I have to, to elaborate on that. Basically, if you say I want um, computers or augmented, yeah, but if I say augmented reality is any document that contains either augmented or reality or both. Doesn't matter the order. So let's see. Let's we have for that we have some store procedures that we made. So let's see the let's inspect the, this one. So basically from the view we are going to select in a uh, cross with the file table and we are going to have a free text uh, using the word search, whatever word we did. So let's see how it works. Let's execute this uh, free text. And Free text is expecting to have a word here. Let's have augmented reality. So it's going to look for documents that contains augmented, augmented reality or reality. And here we have these are documents in Excel, PDF, Word. 
that contains either the word augmented or reality. Okay. Now let's see a document contain that contains. And here is a document that contains exactly the So notice that I put some quotes there. And I made a mistake probably. No. Okay. These are the words that they contain augmented reality in um, that contains only, I mean, both, only, I mean, the whole thing, augmented and reality together in that order. So, so let's see. Uh, let's, I have some, some, some scripts that we're going to run here. So, let's see, contains. And we have four actually three, because this one is just to illustrate the syntax used to do the query. So this one is what I run, it's just expected augmented reality. And those are the documents that have augmented reality. Let's see, let's have augmented reality as and this one will have global and not reality. The, go the word global must be included, but the reality, the word reality shouldn't be there. And here we have two documents with that condition. So I'm using explicit notation here. However, I can just use the abbreviate notation. It's the same query. And not reality. I suspect it produces the same result. Let's see uh, more on this and that. That's the name. Uh, this one will have virtual reality and definition. This kind of uh, semantic might be useful to ask questions, to answer questions like, what is virtual reality? Well, in this case, we are kind of uh, gearing our research to the word virtual reality and the word definition of definition. It doesn't mean that the, the word definition is defining virtual reality. It's a little bit more complex than that if we want to do it. But for this very simplistic uh, presentation, so we have here this document that contains the word the, the virtual reality in that order and definition or definitions. Okay, so let's continue with our presentation here and experiment. So let's have some of the scripts that we have here. And this is the free text. And we run this, uh, this one will have either one of the words, global, augmented, reality, or global and augmented, but no reality, any combination. So any combination of documents containing the word, the words global, augmented, or reality. And here, here, here we have several documents containing with, with this condition. Well, let's start doing some, finding some semantic here. So like for instance, let's find a key phrase in all the documents. So let's see what this, but we are going, this is the content of the uh, stop procedure. We are going to give a key phrase and it's going to be trying to find in different uh, documents. <coughs> and it's going to give you some score. And then for this presentation, I will just mention the word score, but we are, we are not using for any other thing except for 
same for the basis for in the future. So let's execute this uh, fine phrase. And the key phrase is going to be reality. So here I have several documents that contains the word documents and it's giving me some kind of quantitative indicator here and kind of a score that is going to be useful in future uh, present, uh, future um, development that we have for the time being is just the size of the document, the score and the name of the document that contains that. Let's continue with find key phrases in a document. So I'm going to use to copy this uh, engineer project document name and I'm going to use find key phrases and uh, it's expecting a document so this document and I have key phrases in those in this document and uh, this is using some of the algorithms that we were seeing before but this is this is the reality PDF inspection libraries as our sensors. Those are words that they were found and it gives some kind of uh, score. Notice that enhance, uh, uh, enhance and augmented might be similar words, environments, inspections, objects, visualization. So the in reality is if you see augmented realities it might define the document or enhance reality or reality of environments. So this is the scores that is giving us here. Let's do find similarities between two two documents. So I have here um, I'm going to select two documents for that, so find similarities. Let's see what this. So we uh, give two two titles, and it's going to find the similarities between those two documents in keywords or key phrases. All right. So let's um, run this, and let me. One of the documents is engineering, and the other document that we want here is let's see. Start procedure. All right. One is global learning, and the other one will say that it was going to be engineering projects PDF. If I spell engineering, no, no. All right, I hope I spelled it right. All right, let's see. All right, here is comparing. See, the word visualization appears in the two documents and a high score of similarities. So and then we have some other words like uh, we have 16 entries on this one and then the word collaborative is appears in both but might not define the similarity but this um, score means that this document might be of similar semantic not so much in similar like equal but similar in the, term, the sense of meaning. That's uh, all right. 
let's close this and then do a couple more things before we finish we are going to remember our if, okay let's go to the, the document metadata and select so our authors is empty and authors is a JSON column, so we are going to make something here. Well, let's see. Let's run our add authors. And oh, I have to select the document, the author, so I have to select. Okay, let's select a document by. Let's see. Um, let's get engineering projects. Uh, yeah, let's have the engineering projects and copy the path locator which is the ID and we are going to fill this one so let's run our project um, this will be no sorry I'm going to copy the path locator which is my ID execute store procedure give the path locator now it's better and I'm going to give my name and I'm going to my email and I'm going to execute this one and let's see what happened now with the document, this document. So let's go to where is this one? And I think it was well, one way to do it is let's go here and notice that this document has Let's, let's select this document we still have it here let's do a query this is from the document metadata document and notice that it was an entry here now on the authors and it's giving the let's see if we can take this out and put it in a text just to see that so notice that the structure was author and it's in the so we have several after so this so this schema is a JSON schema the name the email and that's the two entries that we added according to our um, the definition that we have for the stop procedure that we made so let's see let's see what's how we did it at authors basically we pass three parameters the um, document identification through the path locator, the, the name and the email and in this case I am just copying everything I was there and add the new entry and put it back 
So why? Because um, <clears throat> just to be sure that everything is in relation to the schema, etc., etc. Then there are several other ways. So let's query the uh, <coughs> document. Let me see. Let's have some queries. And I'm running out of time, but okay. Uh, query out those. See, I'm querying the uh, JSON column, and it comes into a normal or not normal into a traditional way. So, but this this is basically using the open JSON, and then cross reference with itself, and then it gives me this. So from here I can create views, sub procedures going into the JSON table uh, count. Uh, columns. So, and the JSON column is kind of the main part of the NoSQL. It's not only SQL, but this allows us to, to do uh, searches and queries and joins and mix and match between structured and non-structured databases. So, this concludes our presentation. But in summary, we were able to to query a database containing documents and the definition of documents was presented before by the content, by the words, by the phrases, by the semantic um, containing the document. Then we also are able to do queries on a JSON column and update and insert into a JSON column. So in the past, uh, this been, well, not in the past, in the traditional way to do authors, you have to have an <coughs> main uh, authors and then a subtable with authors in each entry. In this case, it's one uh, element. And just to finalize, if you want to back up the database, you just back up the whole thing and it's coming from here is it. So I will do a full backup to the, to a selected file. And this backup and um, your all, all the content that means also the the file structure for the document, all my JSON tables, everything is back up. So this is, uh, this concludes our presentation. I hope that you find this interesting as I find very interesting, very interesting for, to add to your organization a huge amount of data <coughs> that can be combined with the present data and then help to do, to do decisions in a better way, <coughs> or more informed way. Uh, I'm not saying that better way is informed way, but just to add the possibilities of uh, analysis, projections, etc. So, and also to create smart platforms. This is the beginning of the smart platforms. Thank you very much.